Hello everyone, it's that time of year again where everyone starts to think about Christmas. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a very merry Christmas penguin card. I decided to use the Creative Critter cartridge and cut out an igloo at 2 and 3 fourths inches tall using white and blue cardstock. Using the same cartridge, I then cut out two sets of Christmas lights at 1 inches tall on brown cardstock. After using the cook cartridge, I then got out my stamps and stamped two penguins and a very merry Christmas greeting on white cardstock. For the inside of the card, I decided to use a Christmas tree pattern paper and a red cardstock. Now I'm using my ATG gun to adhere the red cardstock to the front of the card. Since the red cardstock hung over the base of my card a little bit, I then got my scissors and trimmed it down so that both the red cardstock and the white cardstock matched. Now that the red cardstock is adhered to the front of my card, I then decided to glue the a glue down before I put the lights on. Since I would be adding glitter to the lights, I thought it would be easier to glue the a glue down so you're not worried about the lights smudging. I make sure when adhering the br I make sure when adhering the lights to the card that none of the brown pieces are hanging over the edge. With the second set of lights I'm adhering to the card, a piece ripped off since it was so fine. That was okay because I decided to cut the other side off to make it even and stick it to the card so that there were no pieces hanging over the edge. Since the lights are on the igloo, I then grabbed my green glitter and started adding it to the lights. Now with the Creator Critter cartridge, it has a feature that you can cut out individual lights to stick on the card. I found that ra rather than using the cartridge lights, the glitter worked perfectly fine too and it made it quick and easy. Red glitter. I thought that the lights would look better if I alternated colors by using red and green glitter. After, after putting the glitter glue on the lights, I then gently set my card over to the side so that it had time to dry. After setting the card over to have time to dry, I then grabbed my EK Success markers. I grabbed the colors yellow, red, and green. 
I decided to use the yellow for the beak and the feet of the penguin, and the red and the green for the hat. I chose to alternate the red and the green colors on the hat to make it more Christmassy. Now that both penguins are colored in, I'm going to use my scissors and fussy cut them out. After fussy cutting out the penguins, I then grabbed my A Very Merry Christmas sentiment and cut it out with triangles on each side to make it look like a flag. I cut the middle of the paper closest to the edge and then I cut each corner down to the middle to make the flags. After cutting the flags, I then grabbed my pastel EK Success marker and used the chisel then to color it in. Using the chisel end makes it go a lot quicker for a larger area. After cutting out the penguins and the sentiment, I then set them aside so that I could work on getting my snowflake ink stamp and my color box blue ink ready and stamp the image to put as a background on the card. Stamping the snowflake background on the card, I then grabbed my penguin and my sentiment, a very merry Christmas, and used 3D foam tape to make them stand up on the card. Once they were here to the front of the card, I then grabbed my Christmas tree cardstock and my red cardstock and stuck them together using the ATG gun.
Thank you for watching a very Merry Christmas Penguin card. Once the excess paper was trimmed off from the card, the card was complete.